Welcome to our five-minute Bible study, The School of Prayer. We're beginning to try to begin to understand how prayer is a ministry, how prayer is a way we make a difference in the lives of other people, how we help, care, show compassion by how we pray for others. And so we're going to spend our next several sessions talking about ways in which we minister through and by means of prayer. And that begins by doing what we're going to call praying the ordinary. Praying the ordinary. You know, so much of life is just ordinary, routine living. We don't think about it as being particularly spiritual. It's just the regular activities of life. But as we minister in prayer, we infuse those ordinary moments with prayer, purposeful prayer, ministering prayer. One of the mistakes Christians sometimes make is we tend to think of the religious part of our life or the sacred part of our life as only those, quote, spiritual things we do like going to church or reading the Bible or, or, or activities like that. And of course, those are spiritual. But that's only a portion of our life, and, and we tend to segregate those as if that 10% of our life is all that's spiritual, and all the rest of our life, the other 90%, is just the routine. I want you to learn that it's all sacred. Whether you're attending a worship service, whether you're receiving Holy Communion, whether you're in a prayer meeting or a Bible study, or whether you're having lunch with your family, or whether you're having supper with some friends, or whether you're at play with your children, whether you're at work on the job, whether you're at school doing your studies, all of your life, even the most, quote, ordinary parts of your life are filled with sacred presence. And praying the ordinary is learning to infuse every moment of your day with prayer. So as you begin to minister to other people in prayer, you first begin by, by praying for those ordinary routines of life. So for instance, when you're sending, you're sending your children off to school for the day, say a prayer for them. Pray for God's grace upon them all during the day. That it will be a good day at school and that they'll learn much, have wonderful times with their friends and respect their teachers. Pray for a great day. When you're off to work for the day, pray that today at work, I will know the presence of God all through the day. So pray for it, that I work well, that I'll do a good job, but that in my work I'll know God is present. I'm, I'm praying the ordinary. When your family's going on vacation, pray for the vacation. Pray, Lord, we need some relaxing days. So be with us on these days off. Let us have a lot of fun. Let us grow together as a family through the fun. Let it just be a wonderful time of relaxation. Pray for that vacation. You begin to see what I mean. You infuse every part of your day, all the ordinary routines with prayer. You make them sacred. They already are sacred, really. God's already there. Just you're making yourself aware of it, and you're infusing the power of prayer. While you're at school, uh, you students, during the day, why don't you pray for the folks around you? Say a prayer for your teacher. See, or he's got a pretty tough job, so... Pray for God's grace for them through this day. Pray for the folk that sits to the right of you and the, the person that sits to the left of you. Pray that, that God will grace them. Whoever you eat lunch with in the cafeteria, uh, pray that they'll know the presence of God. Just, just These just ordinary things, ordinary routines of the day, but infuse them with prayer. Someday at the office, while you're going about your normal work, uh, offer quick prayers for all the folks you work with. Pray that God will help them through the difficulties they may be experiencing. Pray that they'll know the grace of God on their life and power today. Uh, if they need salvation, pray they'll come to know Jesus and trust in Him. Just infuse all of the ordinary parts of your day with prayer. Learn to pray the ordinary. Don't think it just has to be some, quote, very spiritual event at which you pray. No, no, no. It's not just those spiritual events, but it is every moment Every routine of your day, infuse it with the power of prayer. 
you'll learn that you can be a minister and minister and care for people almost every minute of every day as you're praying the ordinary events of your life. So the first, the first part of learning to minister through prayer is to pray the ordinary. Pray the regular routine of life. Fill it with the power of prayer and see what God will do. Why don't you try that today? I think you'll find some wonderful things will happen as you pray the ordinary. You have a great day today, and I'll see you next time in our five-minute Bible study on the School of Prayer.